A pressure test simply means compressing the silo to achieve a pressure difference of 25 millimetres of water gauge. This means 25 millimetres difference between the two halves of a manometer. A manometer can be as simple as a piece of food plastic tube or it can be a factory manufactured visible oil pressure relief gauge uh, and in that you can observe the 25 millimetre difference then you time the decay period. A silo, sealed silo is not perfectly sealed, it's not hermetic. It will have leaks in it and it will slowly decay. You've got to hold at least half of that originally created level, in other words 25 millimetres down to 12 millimetres in three minutes or longer. Standard for brand new silos is five minutes simply because we would like manufacturers to produce to a slightly higher standard so that on farms the silo is going to last a lot longer as a sealed silo. You should pressure test your silo annually. Uh, there's always a chance the rubber can be damaged. Uh, grain under the, um, the rubber upstairs is, uh, is quite a common one. Folded rubber uh, and the other, the big one for Western Australia especially is leaving the seal plates underneath the silo where the parrots eat it. An average farm compressor is adequate for the job you're actually creating 250 pascals pressure in the silo so what you really want is high volume and I specifically use a, a blowback or a venturi gun or a direct connection straight to a pressure a tyre valve uh, connected to the side of the silo so it's a high volume not a high pressure